Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Jogi Wars. Um, do I go with the same opening? Do I select the same opening I picked yesterday or should I play Central File Rook? Central File Rook sounds fun. Let's give it a shot. Um, in the Agra, push the edge pawn. Alright. Well, I don't foresee myself um, playing the Yagra, the fortress that is, uh, today. Okay. <laughs> well, I didn't foresee this either, to be honest. Um, ain't that funny. Alright, let's kick this rook before something crazy happens. Hmm. It's so the whole point of playing Central File Rook and opening this file is that it makes room for the Rook and the Bishop. Uh, but <laughs> my opponent is amply discouraging me from pushing the center pawn, and I can live with that. I don't mind a bit of pressure. Um, just means I need to adapt my strategy accordingly. We'll push the center file pawn when it makes sense to push it, and not push it when it doesn't make sense to push it. Normally, with central file rook, I have time to drop, push the pawn here and put the silver behind it. However, the opponent has blocked their bishop, and so we take a different course of action. Um, that's a free pawn? Oh, they're going to drop a pawn on my knight's head. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's play this out. Let's see how it happens. I'm actually not... I mean, I could have taken this last turn, but pushing this first ups the stakes. Or I'm just misreading it. Um, as I was saying, I could be misreading this, but... Um, okay, that's a cool fork. Okay, so they win some material. That's fine. Whatever. It's just material. Uh, do we push again? Yeah, why not? If I take there, there's a bishop drop forking my pieces. Um, so I guess I need to step back. So unlike chess, you don't need to fret. It's not the end of the universe if you lose some material. Especially if you still have like the same count of pieces as your opponent after exchanges have occurred. Um, 
this bishop being blocked by the silver general is a huge problem. This rook being blocked by this pawn and this gold and everything else is also a huge problem. Me being slightly down on material is not a huge problem. So I can drop a knight, and then push the token and win the rook. That's fine. They're trying to find some... Oh, okay. They're going to tuck the rook behind the pieces. That's creative. Uh, do I have a breakthrough? No. I'll just do this anyway. Even though it doesn't win the game on the spot. It's still a decent plan. Um, do we push the knight or something else? I don't want to F this up at this point. Know, let's just target the king. It's right there. They might drop a bishop here, and if they do, at least I'll know where the bishop is. Instead of spending a zillion moves fretting about, what if they drop the bishop, what if they drop the bishop? Okay, they did drop it. Now I know where it is. Could, not take, could capture it. Not sure if that benefits me to capture it. I don't think it does. So we'll just attack the king and keep attacking. Let's see, can I drop knight 5-5 five five or is that too much? It looks like that's too much. Okay, let's deploy the dragon once more. And save the knight drop for whenever it's most effective. That's weird. That's a bizarre retreat. In general, you should think twice about retreating moves. I don't think that move is any exception. Okay. Oh, that's cool. If I take that lance drop happens. That's clever. Um... Just take this and keep attacking and keep attacking. And I can still drop my knight whenever it's most useful for me to drop it. Um, which is probably soon. Yeah, this horse is blocked by the silver. So I have to come up with a different way to use this horse. If they retreat the horse here, I can drop a gold and see if they feel like giving me back any material. still have the knight in hand for whenever it's most effective for me to use it. 
I might want to drop it here. I don't know where I want to put the knight. Okay, I guess we'll take that. Interesting. Didn't expect that. Um, Go for Okay, I do need to back off, and I'm going to take something for my troubles. My dragon will make it back up the board almost immediately. I, I have very clear intention of uh, continuing my attack. Finally got to play Pawn 5-5. Five five. Mission complete. Um... Okay, so I'm going to chase this, but also start working my way back. Uh, I don't feel like getting embroiled in tactics here. We're just going to pick any open file. Why open a new file when we've got a perfectly good one to begin with? All right, so we'll take this and take that and take this. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever. Who can come up with the most crazy sacrifice, I wonder? Well, that was a sacrifice, that's for sure. Are they going to block my dragon, or is it going to make it back up here? Am I going to get to use this dragon, or do I need to make a new one? Um, those might be two different questions. Or two different... they have two different answers. Alright, this is a fork. I'm not going to move this knight because I'm not crazy. I think my opponent might be running out of pieces. Okay, that's clever. Um, Sampun. It would help if I were better at end games.
I could run away. That would be suicidal. Yeah, that's spooky. All right, so I have to mate. Or I have to come up with a fork to pick off this damn bishop. Either way. Nifun. I don't think I'll need this dragon, but in case we need it, I've got it out there. Ippun. Welcome. One down, two to go. Good luck. What to do? Wait a second, I have an idea. Okay, so they're not pushing anything out to the second rank, so... I'm gonna fall... oh, okay. I'm gonna fall back to playing this. Um, damn, they played that. Alright. I can't do anything exploitative then. Um, yeah, I'd need to get one of these pawns up to the fifth rank to be able to make a real threat here. Um, well, that just might help. Maybe. Maybe not.
This is double-edged. <laughs> this is so double-edged. So there's weaknesses everywhere, but the tactics might support what they're doing. So we can't completely discount the opponent's idea. And this does... Okay, well... Here we go. Your idea, not mine. Um, is this... I forget what they call this kind of rook that dances back and forth. There's a name for it. Um... I'm probably outplayed here and don't know what I'm doing. Uh. I want to say it's like switching rook or something, but that's not right. Hmm. I want to take that. It's not good. Well, taking that might be good enough. Sure is risky. Um. But how do I make an initiative if I don't take it? Well, whether or not I end up taking that, let's throw this in first, just to make things more exciting. Okay, that's just bonkers. Whatever. There is no need to make this a target. They had a perfectly decent game going, and now we're here. Now tactics actually are possible. Granted, I'm probably still worse, but um, anything could happen. They might push this. Okay. Uh, they don't. Do I take the knight? I don't think I can keep styling like that. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to take this and I have to promote, otherwise I'm trapped. So, their pieces control a lot of squares. My pieces control not as many squares. Um, yeah, I'm getting solidly outplayed here. Both tactically and strategically, because strategically I don't know what I'm doing other than trying to just make up some tactics. 
Um, I guess strategically I have a castle. Okay, they actually took the knight. Um, they could have delayed that and moved the silver instead. I suspect the only reason this opponent is 1Q and not higher is that um, they falter tactically somehow. And if I'm wrong, boy am I in trouble. <laughs> but, yeah, I think my best shot is to hope for some tactical miracle. Like, moving the silver away seemed clear enough to me. I don't know why they didn't choose that. Um, oh, that's a cool trap here. Not enough. Drop, traps my rook. Maybe I don't need the rook. Maybe I need something else more than I need a rook. Silver, rook moves somewhere, I take this pawn. Yeah, we need to activate my rook. It's going to cost me my silver to do it, but that's okay. At this point, who's even counting material? Now, granted, if I were on, if I had more material, I'd be the one counting it. Since I have this check here, they can't take my silver. It took me a second to reject pretty much every other move for just being absolutely terrible here and come up with this not-so-obvious move that just hangs my silver, but the hanging silver cannot be captured. I was sorely tempted to just take the knight and pray for a miracle, but... The more I looked at it, the more awful that idea looked. Um, so we shut out this bishop. If Tokien takes, then we go chase this bishop. And if it runs away, well, I can't pursue it further, can it? Well, I could. If bishop takes, I have this check. If rook takes instead, we exchange rooks, and I still have this check. With my silver still hanging out. Well, maybe I take here instead, and yeah. I should attack up the left side. Okay. That's cool. Uh, I could take the bishop now. Yeah. I'm not using the rook. Let's take this. And then we'll make use of the silver. And if they chase this, we'll make use of the other silver. All my pieces are hanging. I'm disappointed I don't have my rook. 
Um, but we'll find a way. Interesting. Yeah, let's take here. And then I'm going to take the knight and drop a bishop and take there. So we just keep gradually escalating the tension one square at a time. I guess they have bishop takes pawn, so maybe I should have taken the knight first. Ah, shogi's hard. Oh, maybe. I'm not sure. I thought I was threatening a king rook fork with rook promotes, but I could be missing something. Okay, I bluffed him then. I did an amazing bluff, and I still don't understand it. But uh, rest assured that after the video, I'll take a look. Bishop takes pawn looks reasonable. Yeah. Um, Go Fun. Could drop a pawn if I'm feeling crazy. I think I am. Um, hmm. Uh, let's just resolve this. Good enough. The hell? You don't have time for that. You know you don't have time for that. Don't fuck it up now. <laughs> this is going so well until this moment. Um, I'm so nervous. Sampun. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> in for a penny, in for everything. I don't think I could do gold drop check and expect this to work out. I think they're just slightly too many pieces for that. So we play this more aggressive idea.
I also looked at Gold Ticks Tokien, which didn't seem to do jack. Yeah. He's not wrong. For once, I'm actually playing well. I think. I could be wrong. I mean, minus the hanging silver thing that apparently I just, like, spaced out on. Okay, what? Is that a move? It doesn't look like a move. Nifun. If I have mate and one, I should play it. I don't have mate and one. Um, that's a pity. Ippun sanjubyo. Thanks for the game. Two down, one. Oh, all right, that'll do it. Woo! Mission accomplished. Two down, one to go. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Whatever. We'll take it. We'll take what we'll just be happy with the promotion. Uh it's a long time coming. Uh okay. Got to play my idea after all. Hmm, what's this? Oh. Oh, interesting.
Yeah, I thought I had a counterattack here. And I still might. Um, like, again, don't fret about the whole material thing. I probably should have pushed this pawn earlier to kick this back. And probably that should be my next move. Well, except this pawn actually contains the bishop. So maybe not. Um, Schneikies. Wait a second. Wait a second. You don't get to just pick off my pawn like that. He has feelings too. Yeah, so I can still push here. They are Fugires, so, like, I shouldn't be terrified of this position. <laughs> so much confidence. Oh dear. Uh, I'll have to talk later about next steps. Um, blink. Blink, blink. Uh, okay. Don't know why they moved the rook. Because that only helps me. What the hell? Again. Okay. I'm going to be the master of subtlety here. Thanks for the game. Uh, alright. Well, I think we conclude that Shogi is tactical. And if you don't worry about the material value so much, uh, Shogi can be fun too. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.